Hey, what's up everybody? If you've read any of my books, you've seen a lot of different variations of bug out bags. One's in your vehicle, one for your home, depending on the environment, the situation, there's, there's a lot of things to consider. But what I wanna do is go through what I would call an extended stay bug out bag, which I feel like is what we should all have. And it works no matter where you're at. It's a little bigger. Mine is in this brand new Dark Trek Summit Pack. This is a Violent Nomad pack. It's 50 liters or 3,000 cubic square inches. I feel like this is a great size for a bug out bag. I mean, this thing will push you weeks because it focuses on not carrying food and water. It focuses on acquiring food and water in a healthy way. The bag itself has a top lid. It has the main body compartment, and then it also has a small trunk compartment. It's flanked by two vertical compartments along with your external flex net pouches. So starting with the top and the lid, light stuff, I've got, oh, an REI little pillow. More important piece is a PVC shell, all right? I can throw this on, it'll keep all the warmth in and won't let anything out, which is great. With whatever insulation you're wearing, you throw that shell on, you've got warmth immediately. Now, keep in mind, I packed everything in its original bags um, or compression bags, which tells me that if I take all of this stuff and put it into real compression bags, then I will even have more room in this thing. But this has everything you need, all right? Right off the bat, I've got a little Tupperware. I love Tupperware. It doesn't help for weight, but it helps for organization. Filters, remember, acquiring water in a healthy way. You cannot go wrong with a Sawyer along with the bags. Then it's got a fishing tackle kit, lights, lighters, uh, and, another, and a couple other accessories that are just support items. Then we've got a blowout kit, medical. It's got everything you need in case there's bleeding or airway issues. Then you have a reel. This is a nice little fishing reel, already ready to go. So a little collapsible, lightweight. These things are great. Being able to acquire food in a healthy way. GPS, oh, needs a software update. Ground pad, once again, Violent Nomad. This is the ultra light mat. This thing will blow up and at least give you, get you up off the ground and also provide warmth, okay? And then you've got shelter, okay? Violent Nomad uh, shadow tent. This is a single pole shadow tent. Once again, comes in its original packaging, but if I were to take all of these items and put them in real compression bags, it would make the signature much smaller and give me more room inside the main compartment. Of course, we've got water bladders. Gotta have those. Then more warmth, the sleeping bag. This is the Black Down Violent Nomad sleeping bag. This thing is good to about zero degrees. Moving to the bottom compartment. You can't go anywhere. Of course, you gotta have some kind of way to cook and boil um, along with the fuel. So I've got all that right here. Some food, all right? This is all, just all you gotta do is add your hot water. Once again, if I had good compression bags, I've got a bunch of Mountain House, and some other meals in here. Get me started, plenty of meals, until I can acquire food and water in a healthy way on my own. Okay, small external pouch, great for maps of the local area, Ziploc bags, and any other small accessories. And then of course I've got my fuel in the FlexNet pouches. Um, depending on climate, you may not want these exposed to the environment. You may want to move them internal. Temperature dictates. All right, that's about it. Once again, just remember, you need life support items. So that's medical, shelter, warmth, food, water, right? Everything else is extra, like the GPS or the maps. You know, these are all secondary items. Life support comes first. Everything else comes second. All right, I hope that helped you. Stay safe out there.